So how do you keep your peace when life gets a little crazy? Like it might be something that maybe you've had an argument with your husband or he's not doing what it is that you really want him to do. Or maybe it's neighbor problems, right? Like neighbors that, uh, I don't know, sometimes there's disagreements, sometimes there's lawsuits, sometimes there's lots of battles, right? And we can get really, really worked up about it and totally lose our peace and get um, yeah, emotionally distraught, lose sleep, uh, stressed out, arguing with husband, disagreeing, right? Kid problems because they're watching mom and dad argue about whatever it is that we're spinning out about. What I want you to know is that you actually can give yourself whatever emotion it is that you want most at any time. It is not dependent upon someone else. When we step into emotional maturity, we recognize that we create our lives and we create what's the emotions that we experience based on our thoughts. It all comes down to our thinking. And so if we can shift and claim our power by capturing our thoughts, figuring out what it is. If we're thinking that those neighbors are just nasty and they're trying to ruin our lives or even our husbands, that maybe he's just trying to ruin our life because gosh, he's, he's a narcissist. He's a, you know, he's so selfish. He's always thinking about himself. He's not available. He doesn't do what he says. He never keeps his word. All those things, oh, you can just feel the blood pressure go right up, right? Instead, if we capture the thoughts and thinks, you know what? Everything always works out. As a believer, we know that with Christ, everything does always work out. And if we can pray for the person who maybe is driving us nuts, so the circumstance, if it's a circumstance, that's all it is. It's uh, even a lawsuit, it's just a piece of paper, uh, something in the courts. Yes, but you're gonna survive. You will one way or another survive. Everything always works out. Um, you know, Jesus, I trust in you. With God, I know that everything will work out. And so many of those kinds of thoughts just sh completely shift my emotional, my emotions. And so that like, even when I get stressed out about my husband or um, even now caring for elderly parents and not getting a whole lot of communication from siblings, it makes me crazy. But it's not what they're doing that's making me crazy. It's my thoughts about it, that they should be, right? Like if you're responsible and you're collaborating about things, there should be regular communication. Not everybody believes that or not everybody apparently practices that. So it's like, okay, my thoughts are, okay, they're just doing them. They are doing them. And yeah, how do I navigate this? Mm, I can say, I can't, I can't, I can't do this or I can't, um, I, can, I really need more direct and more clear communication. I can express my desire for it. They may or may not give it, but right? It's all about navigating my thoughts and my expectations about someone else in a way that I can give myself the peace that I really desire. And you can do the same thing. That if you desire peace, like think of a particular circumstance that's stressing you out right now. If you want peace about it, what would you be thinking? What is an empowering thought that you can think that will give you peace? and trust and help you to surrender in this journey so that you show up as your best self. Right? right? No matter what, everything works out. One way or another, I will be fine. With God, we got this. All right. So this is the work that we're doing where we're capturing our thoughts. We're learning how to be our best self. Uh, not a victim at all. We are not victims. And we can learn how to think in a way that creates the best results. So I'm Coach Carol and I'm standing for you. Come and join the Happy Wife community, ladies, uh, and um, reach out for support. All right? God bless.